Hello everyone, I am Hidakshi Kubawar from SPD 19A. The topic of my video is Introduction to Isomerization in the Perspective of Refining. So let's start. First of all, what is petroleum refining? Petroleum refining is the process of separating the many compounds present in crude petroleum. Petroleum refining or oil refining is an industrial process in which crude oil is extracted from the ground and transformed and refined into useful products like LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, kerosene, asphalt, jet fuel, gasoline, heating oil, fuel oil, etc. It is a separation as well as a reactive process to yield various valuable products. It consists two types of process. First, one is unit operation or physical processes and the second one is unit process or catalytic processes. Now let's see which processes are included into physical processes and which are included into catalytic processes. Physical processes used in petroleum refining are dehydration, crude distillation, propane deasphalting, solvent extraction and de-waxing and blending. And catalytic processes used in petroleum refining are fluid catalytic cracking, hydro treating, hydro cracking, catalytic reforming, alkylation, polymerization and isomerization. So isomerization is one of the catalytic processes which is used in petroleum refining. Now let's see what is isomerization. First of all, what is isomers? Isomers are compounds with the same molecular formula as another but with a different structure. And isomerization is a process by which hydrocarbons are made into isomers. That's why this process is called isomerization. Initially, isomerization units produced isobutan from normal butane. But today, isomerization is mainly focused on the upgrading of refinery naphtha streams into high octane motor gasoline. The isomerization process is gaining importance in the present refining context due to the limitations on gasoline, benzene, aromatics and olefin contents. The isomerization process upgrades the octane number of light naphtha fractions and also simultaneously reduces benzene content by saturation of the benzene fraction. Isomerization is a simple and cost-effective process for octane enhancement compared with the other octane improving processes. Isomeric product contains very low sulfur and benzene making it ideal blending component in refinery gasoline pool. Due to the significance of isomerization to the modern refining industry, it becomes essential to review the process with respect to catalyst, reactions, thermodynamics and process developments. The isomerization process is compared with another well-known refinery process called the catalytic reforming process. Isomerization converts normal butane, normal pentane and normal hexane into their respective isoparaffins of substantially higher octane number. The straight chain paraffins are converted to their branched chain counterparts whose component atoms are the same but are arranged in a different geometric structure. Isomerization is important for the conversion of normal butane into isobutane to provide additional feedstock for alkylation units and the conversion of normal pentanes and hexanes into higher branched isomers for gasoline blending. Isomerization is similar to catalytic reforming in that the hydrocarbon molecules are rearranged. But unlike catalytic reforming, isomerization just converts normal paraffins to isoparaffins. There are two isomerization processes. First is butane isomerization and second is pentane or hexane isomerization. Butane isomerization produces feedstock for alkylation. Aluminium chloride catalyst plus hydrogen chloride are used for the low temperature processes. Platinum or another metal catalyst is used for the higher temperature processes. In a typical low temperature process, the feed to the isomerization plant is normal butane or mixed butanes mixed with hydrogen to inhibit olefin formation. 
the feed is passed to the reactor at 230 to 340 degree Fahrenheit and 200 to 300 psi means pounds per square inch. Hydrogen is flushed off in high pressure separator and the hydrogen chloride removed in a stripper column. The resultant butane mixture is sent to the fractionator called as a diisobutanizer to separate normal butane from the isobutane product. Pentane or hexane isomerization increases the octane number of the light gasoline components like normal pentane and normal hexane which are found in abundance in straight run gasoline. In a typical pentane or hexane isomerization processes, dried and desulfurized feedstock is mixed with a small amount of organic chloride and recycled hydrogen and then heated to reactor temperature. It is passed over metal supported catalyst in the first reactor where benzene and olefins are hydrogenated. The feed then goes to the isomerization reactor where the paraffins are catalytically isomerized to isoparaffins. The reactor effluent is then cooled and subsequently separated in the product separator into two streams. A liquid product called isomerate and recycled hydrogen gas stream. The isomerate is washed with a caustic and water, acid strip and stabilized before going to storage. Problems occur when the feedstock is not completely dried and desulfurized as the potential exists for acid formation leading to the catalyst poisoning and metal corrosion. Water or steam must not be allowed to enter areas where hydrogen chloride is present. Precautions are needed to prevent hydrochloric acid from entering sewers and drains. There is a potential for exposure to hydrogen gas, hydrochloric acid, hydrogen chloride and to dust when the solid catalyst is used. This is all about introduction to isomerization in the perspective of refining. I hope you like this video. Thank you.